Wix website for digital products step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll share my own experience of how can we create an online store to sell digital products. So nothing hard. Let's get started. Here we are on Wix template page. You can find it through Google search. You can just simply search for Wix templates and the first link will lead to this page. So this is the best way to find the necessary template. And yeah, I definitely recommend you to start from template. You can then create it from scratch. But firstly, in order to uh, understand how does it work, you need to use a template. So the first website should be used from the template, should be created from the template. And here on this page, now we need to find the most suitable template as for us. Here we have a couple of categories, but we need to select a store and then we just simply need to find the most suitable. So here we can find some related um, categories like books and publishers, but uh, you need to know that every single template can be customized to sell a digital product. So instead of physical, we can then uh, add a digital. So let's try to find something really easy to interact with. And I think that this template is quite good. So let's click on view. Here we can change all the information about us. And then we can just simply add all the digital products, some I know, courses, uh, maybe templates for some other things, maybe Notion templates and so on. Basically doesn't matter. So also all the templates here are totally responsive. So it's pretty good. Let's click on edit this site in the right top. Uh, of course, if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. You can do it with your Gmail or you can create a separate account. Basically nothing hard. So all we need to do now is to open our editor here. And the first thing we need to do definitely, uh, all the templates, they have a lot of different pages and some of them are not that important to have as for us. So here uh, we need to manage pages firstly. Let's click on page in the left top right up here. Click on it, then click on manage pages. And as you can see, we have a lot a lot of different pages I don't really want to interact with, my orders, my wallet. So yeah, let it be. On the store page, let's delete the skin and hair. Delete this one here. Uh, and also, uh, now we need to delete some other pages. Yeah, let's click on it. Mm, I'd like to delete the About Us page. This one here. And also, let it be our philosophy. Let's make it as easy as possible. Yeah. We'll delete all the things. Okay. The next thing we need to manage is that uh, we can change the wall style of the website. So we can change fonts, we can change colors. In this case, we need to click on side design in the left side menu. Let's click on it. Here we need to click on uh, change team. And then as you can see, we can manage something from pre-created uh, templates. And also if you're going to click on one step back, we can now customize your site design so we can choose our color theme, text theme, page background, page transitions. In my case, I'm going to use an existing uh, template we already have. So it will be pretty easy as for us to interact with it. And let's use this one here. The next thing we need to do is we need to interact with our design itself. So every single website, every single page is created from different sections. So here we have this section, this section here, this section here, and this section here. And we need to interact with them so we can move them if it's necessary as for us by clicking on these buttons. And we can interact with content inside. So here, for example, we have this text, this image, this like area here. So first I'm going to delete all this stuff here. Also, we can replace our image. It definitely worth to do. So let's click on manage media. And after that, uh, we can then interact with what's inside. So basically, uh, you need to know that uh, every single object has its own properties. And we can basically delete and add something new. So we can click on plus, add the image here. Let's use something from gallery, for example, 
or we can use something from stocks. Let's add this one here just as an example. So we can resize it, we can manage the position by clicking and then just moving and then we can manage all the content in, in the same way. So we can click, click on edit, manage what's inside, manage styles and so on. But okay, it's really easy to interact with this stuff. You can do it by yourself. Just simply try, just simply open it and try to click, try to, you know, add some text, some information. And it could be a little bit hard at the beginning, but with your experience, everything will become easier and easier. Let's take a look at how to interact with products. So here we have our products area. And in order to interact with it, we need to open our dashboard. So click on dashboard right up here in the left top corner, click on go to dashboard. And then we need to find all the information about products. So here we need to go to getting paid. And as you can see, now we can manage all the payment methods. So how can we do that? We can click on connect. Uh, connect our PayPal, manual payments, uh, according to the country you will select, you'll get all the different things. And if you want to sell, uh, let's click on uh, now sell on your website, start selling. So yeah, we need to connect our payment method as I already said. And this is the way of how to interact with this stuff. On the uh, area with page uh, like you know with um, on the area with uh, products we need to add it so let's click on let's add the section here and here we need to find the store and then add this one here so let add Wix store so it may take a little time and after that our store will be automatically added so the next step we need to do is we need to manage products as I already said. So let me show you. If we'll scroll down, we can now find all the products here. So click on manage products. And in this case, uh, we'll come to the page where we now have a catalog. And here we can click on a new product. And here we need to select digital file. So uh, on the digital file, you can then add some information uh, like Photos, info, name, description, some additional images and videos, add the price, add the inventory if it's necessary, and basically then uh, your product is ready to be launched. So after that, you can then uh, click on publish and it will be added to this gallery. I also recommend you to delete the unnecessary products from this page. So you can go to products, select all the products here, Click on delete, more actions, delete and delete. So now you can add your own products, digital profiles and everything is basically ready. So then we can publish, click on publish in the right top and in a few seconds our website was published. So this is a way of how to create a website for digital products. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe, goodbye.